Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday from downtown Denver. I am leaving the museum from doing my observations. And now I'm going to head back home. I have one more day of observations left. And then I'm done with collecting information for my thesis. So another thing to scratch off of the to-do list and I'm super excited about that. I want to organize Matt's closet, but then I also want to record my tasty treat Christmas gift video, which I will post soon. And I'll let you all know when it's up. About an hour ago, I finished making my Christmas gift cookie treat bucket. And here's a sneak peek of one right here. So this is just one, there are four others that I made. If you are interested in seeing how I put them together and the materials I used, then put the link in the description box below. Right now I am making dinner and I'm making julienne beet, broccoli stem, and carrot salad. Here is a picture of it. It has beet, broccoli stems, carrots, chickpeas, raisins, cilantro, cashews, and then the dressing has shallot, lemon juice, honey mustard, maple syrup, olive oil, salt, and pepper in it. And here are the julienne beets, carrots, and broccoli stems. And then here's the salad dressing that I went ahead and made up. And here's the completed recipe. Here's a comparison picture. The salad is really good. I like it a lot. You know, I was a little bit skeptical about this one, but I shouldn't be because her salads are always surprisingly good. Like, she makes a really good salad. I would never think to combine these ingredients together, but I like it. I think it'll... Good morning, you guys. I'm in Boulder, and I am going into work this week. I don't have class, just work. There is a group of, I think, third graders coming in today, and they're going to take a tour. I accidentally left my battery at home for my... Uh, Canon camera, so I'm actually using my phone to vlog today, so I apologize if the video quality is a little bit blurry or a little bit shaky. I have a plate of cookies here, along with my holiday cookie bucket that I made. I'm taking those into work today so that I can give them away. I just left work. And now I am down on Pearl Street and I'm gonna go ahead and get some lunch while I'm down here. I'm gonna to go to the same restaurant that I went to on uh, last week to meet up with my final class. The restaurant is called Ahi. I finally figured out what it's called. It's a Latin American restaurant and it's on the east end of Pearl Street. The last time I was here, I got two of the veggie tacos. I think I'm gonna do the same thing this time. I decided to get a green tea while I was here. I've been on my tea kick lately. So here's my lunch for today. A couple of veggie tacos, marinated artichoke, corn, tomatoes, spinach, and asadero cheese. So I've got a few more minutes until my meter runs out and I'm gonna go into Common Era and see what type of goodies they have in their little store. I love these little ladder earrings. Little ladybugs are cute too. Oh, look, little cupcakes. These are super fun. These are hoodie scarves. Oh, that's fun. So they go over your head like that. Mm, that would mess my hair up though, but that's cute. Wallets. I'm back home and I got my camera back. I left my, I left the battery at home today. Did you record on your iPhone? I did, and I could just tell by looking at it that it was going to be a lot more shaky. I got these two pairs of earrings at Common Era today. I've been eyeing these ladder earrings. Let me see these. I'm gonna save these and give them to you for your Christmas. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do? These are gonna be your Christmas present. For myself. No, I'll give them to you. Oh gosh, that's not how Christmas works. It is. Um, do you want anything for, for Christmas? Yeah. What? New computer. <laughs> New computer. Is that all? Yeah, that's, it. that's enough. It's going to be expensive. 
computer guy here. I'm going to be doing a lot of high performance math calculations. You've got to be ready to program. That's the idea. <laughs> now the funny thing is you don't need the, a powerful program, a uh, powerful computer to do programming. Unless you're doing a lot of compiling, which can be time <laughs> It, it's very easy for my conversations to uh, drift off into Nerdville. This is what you Geek like. Mode. It's what you like. I know, but I just know that you usually, when I start talking about computer stuff and stuff, you usually start counting down, like five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, until you're going to stop listening. But that's so just now, me. You've trained me to not talk about this stuff around you. Okay, yes, that is true. I agree. I, okay, maybe that, that probably sounds really rude. But <laughs> <laughs> now the light is being. But now I think you and I have both come to the agreement that there are certain things I talk about and certain things that you talk about that we are both not interested in, and so we've learned to be accommodating of the other person's needs. But I care about your interests. If I was a video, you would click me off. I don't know. I might be like, this guy's kind of cute. I don't know what he's talking about. You're trying to get brownie points now. No. It would be such a technical video that I wouldn't know what you were talking about. So I'd be like, I don't know what he's talking about, so I'm going to click off of this video right now. Okay. I don't make videos. Maybe you should. Of course, that doesn't sound right to them. You're like, yeah, you do yeah. videos all the time. Matt's Tech Tips. Matt's te Tech Tips. Matt's Tech Talks. Matt. Matt's Matt Tech Tips. <laughs> Matt's Tech Time. Matt's Gadget. Matt's Computer Coliseum. Ooh, fancy. That's gaming gazebo. Ooh. I'm definitely going to watch you now. You've got a cool channel name. I do have cool yeah. channel names. There might be something that I haven't even thought of that I'm going to say that is slightly entertaining. Or, you know, it could even be more than slightly. You could even say what I'm saying right now is entertaining. Depending on what you're entertained by. <laughs> yes. I guess entertainment doesn't have to always mean, like, a performance, right? No, it doesn't have to be a joke. Let's, an let's analyze the word, uh, the word entertainment. Speech. Oh, man. Um, well, you have your tertain <laughs> and you're in. It's, so you're entering into tertainment. But I don't know what tertain. <laughs> there, there's no Latin word. So, yeah, tertain. what's the root of that? Or enter. Entertain. My Latin skills are failing me here. We're joking. Just so you know. I don't think tertain has the Latin root. Yes, I'm joking. <laughs> it's I'm like, um, some words you can break down like that, like intangible. Yes. Not able to be tanged. Well, what does tanged mean? Well, if you go back to the Latin, probably like tangere or something like that. I don't know. Yes. Would be to touch. And en is a prefix. It's not a Latin prefix or anything. It's just a prefix with a certain meaning. I mean, enter even. Yeah, is en. A... We could look it up. What? Does the prefix en mean to cause a person or thing to be in the place, condition, or state? Oh, this is a good word. Subfuscus? What's that? Let's see how it sounds. Let me turn up the volume first. Subfuscus. Subfuscus. You gotta be careful saying that. Subfuscus. <laughs> what does it mean if I click I on it? Uh, well, this is the word of the day, everybody. What does it mean? A slightly dark, dusky, or somber. Kind of like the screen right now. Slightly dark, dusky, or somber. The screen is not dark right okay. now. Okay, it, it has a light. Subfuscus. You know, it's not every day I hear a word that I have never heard before, but I'm pretty sure I've never heard that word or seen it before. The poem had a subfuscus vibe to it. He touched her subfuscus skin. Okay, well, slightly dark, dusky, but it says or somber. Well, I mean, I guess it can mean all of those things. All right. Okay, that has been Matt's word wisdom. Um, so many good ideas. Yeah. You may have learned something, and those things might not have actually been true. So you should probably <laughs> just forget them. Especially the, the tertain The part. tertain. Yeah, don't listen to that. And what are we going to make for dinner tonight? I'm not hungry yet, but we're going to have to eat something. Um, and I need to go grocery shopping. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that maybe we could just whip up. 
got some tomato basil soup but usually when I make that we usually have some type of sandwich to go with it like a soup and sandwich type thing I don't feel like going grocery shopping it's 4 30 right now and rush hour I'm sure is about to pick up out there and I just don't want to be out in that right now so in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and organize Matt's closet his closet actually is fairly organized it's nowhere as near as bad as mine was because he has fewer clothes and all of his pants are up here this is the most disorganized part of his closet kind of just like mine was I bought the same hanging shelf that I have for my closet and I bought two of these things too for up here so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that so far my closet organization has been working really well Actually, I've been able to wear some stuff that I forgot I had. This shirt I have on, I don't think I've ever worn this before. I bought it and never wore it because I just forgot about it. I had so much stuff in my closet. And then I wore a polka dot um, shirt dress over the weekend that I had forgotten about. So, so far I'm enjoying the organized closet. A subscriber mentioned this drawer back here. And yes, this is an accessory drawer, which I really like. But let me give you all a little sneak peek here of this. It's really disorganized. So I have earrings here. And this is even worse. More jewelry in there. And then I have um, some bracelets. But it needs some help being organized. And I need to buy some little trays or compartments to put in here. Eventually, I'll probably do a do-it-yourself organization video for this accessory drawer, but that's what this is right here. And the subscriber who mentioned this accessory drawer, her name is Elderly Canact 2. Hey, Elderly Canact 2. Thanks for suggesting um, me doing a video for this accessory drawer. It's coming. I just need to get the stuff and find stuff really that I think will be suitable for this. And so eventually I will organize it and I will make a little do-it-yourself home video for it. But that'll be in the future. Alright, I just finished. So in the two bins here, I put all of his shorts in this bin. This bin has shorts and some of his summer linen pants. Those are now at the top of his closet. At the top, we also have some flannel shirts three of those and then let me slide the door over so you can see up here at the top are two hoodies back on this side I organized his pants so we have blue jeans well gray jeans these are also jeans they're just not blue so we got a pair of brown I guess these are blue and these, these are like khaki colored jeans which is really interesting corduroys khakis more khaki, more khakis, just gray khakis. And then he had a couple of hats. And then here are his shirts. Buy t-shirts, sweaters, and collar shirts. And then on the bottom, I went ahead and organized his shoes. Aubrey has hooked up my closet here. I was able to go, I needed some new pants because we're gonna go out to dinner. And I was able to just come right in here, get my jeans out, good to go. I don't know what's in these. That's a bit of a problem. I guess I could just ask or look in them. Let's see. Ah, shorts. Won't need those again until summer, more than likely. Got my shoes down there. Pretty cool. So we decided to go to P.F. Chang's for dinner. Didn't have enough groceries in the house, so here we are. We got a bowl of egg drop soup here, and Matt got um, almond cashew chicken. I'm glad they gave me a little bowl here. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I wanted to mention the new do-it-yourself video that's up. Be sure to check it out. It's called Holiday Cookie Buckets. I'll be sure to put an annotation here so that you all can go check it out. Thank you so much guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Insta Reads. Good night.